So we're back playing Storm of Zay here. Um, I've just picked up a trap, and as you can see, um, there are quite a few lizard folk back here. I'm not going to deal with them just yet. I'm going to actually take the back way in because it lets me have a nice little choke point where I can take advantage of the fact that I have a good tank. Now, when you walk down here, you actually spawn another group of lizard folk up near the entrance. And normally these guys will be charging in when you're trying to fight the main battle down at the south end of the area. So in this case, um, they've spawned too early and we're just going to take care of them while they're all alone. They're not really that dangerous. And they seem to really like beating up my mage, so I'm going to heal him up and be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I also cast a couple buffs and uh, put up a mirror image just because he seems to be taking a lot of damage, and I got a couple castings of it. Um, I do want to save essentially everything important for one of the two bigger fights, one of which we'll be getting to in a second. So we go through the really obvious secret door, which isn't even locked or trapped or anything. There is another trap in here, however. And we pick that up, and there's this lizard folk secret chest, and I'm actually using the chime of opening instead of breaking things, because again, you get XP for it. And my party members have detected the enemies in the next room, but the enemies in the next room haven't de de detected me, and I don't want to charge in just yet, so I'm going to tell them to hold, it, uh, hold off. The uh, game it gets a little aggressive with the AI, where it'll attack anything that it sees uh, instead of actually sort of taking into account, you know, things like tactics. So it looks like there's some West Harbor mead here. So I don't know, somebody likes stealing honey, I guess. Um, so we're gonna buff up and be get ready for the first of the two bigger fights here. Okay, and we're getting ready to charge. And now on game, we will charge. So in this next room here, there are some warriors, which we just want to get their attention because there are a bunch of mages back here that we're going to have to deal with. Well, that wasn't too hard, so I'll clean up and be right back. And back in here in the sacred chest is an item, the Good Wife Shawl, which we need for a quest. And another miscellaneous small object, in this case the Relic of Semenyanya, which is pointless except for, again, it's an item that sits in your inventory and gives a, a bonus that is always active. So we're going to cast an AC bonus on it eventually, but uh, we want to get good AC bonuses before we start enchanting stuff. So... Um, I'm going to heal up, and the main fight is just to the south, so we're going to get ready for that. So just to the south of where we were, there's another little area here with another... It's actually supposed to be a secret door, but it's, a, again, pa extremely obvious. So for this fight, we really don't want to try and fight all of them at once, because there are rather a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my archers stand back here and have the tank just sort of hold the door while everybody uh, shoots over her shoulder. So we'll tell everybody to hold their position and get started. Now, since we're in position already, I'm going to summon the dinosaur, but he's not going to be very useful in this fight because it just it's too close quarters. So we'll cast our haste
and then move the archers into position, shooting at the mage. Uh-oh, we're out of ammo. Hey, that's not allowed. Um, the reason I haven't stocked up on ammo recently is because there's better ammo available in the near future. Um, no, no, she doesn't need ammo. She does. So, back to it. And I have my sort of squishy back line is now completely protected by my tank on the front, who they more or less can't hit. So even though there are some fairly nasty enemies here, unfortunately we're not really very good about hitting them either because we're a little cut off, but it's not too bad. And then I'm just going to have everybody come out and follow, and then attack. Let's, we're just going to clean up this elemental here. There's a door here which is covered by a force field, which we can't do anything yet with yet. Um, but we uh, can look through this door here, which is locked, and uh, we'll use a knock spell to get rid of the uh, that door. Um, but I'm going to heal up and be right back. And in cleaning up, we found a chieftain's key, which we'll need in a second. Because the knock, of course, doesn't work on plot doors. And look, hey, it's another copy of Tarmus the Wizard. So which one's the fake? So, you know. It turns out he's the real one, and then he disappears before you can actually really talk to him. So that's all we need to do here. He's heading back to West Harbor, so we should probably join him. So we've rested up, and we're heading back into West Harbor. Okay, so here we are, and into West Harbor, and, well, I've already cast a lot of my buffs. And there's a group of guys here waiting for us to join in. And let's talk to Laszlo. And, uh, more or less, um, the dragons are here, so... Well, you know, we can talk to them for a while. We've already cast all our buffs, so we're just going to charge right up and say hi to the dragon. Before we do, though, I do want to make sure that everybody kind of gathers up um, for a casting of haste. Unfortunately, Body of the Sun is being uh, obs kind of obnoxious. Yeah, okay, you know, they're, you know, they want to deal with you, and um, we'll just say no, because it's easier that way. And uh, for being dragons, they're um, not very hard. And uh, most of that is just the fact that you get to cast all your buffs ahead of time. So, um, I'm just going to clean up and be right back. The dragons don't actually have anything of interest. They just have some scales. So, um, you get some XP for it. And, um, you know. It turns out he betrayed the village to uh, kind of, you know, get the dragons to leave him alone. So, you know, that's nice and all. We get a free, free trading post out of it, and um, West Harbor is also a good place to set up caravans. More importantly, we can now get rid of our usual um, sort of gathered amount of stuff um, by talking to Tarmus. Before we talk to him, though, let's go hand in this shawl. And, you know, you give it to her, and yeah, they think it's, think it's important. So she gives you... Um, this gardener's spade, which is a unique staff that is really not very useful. Again, it does cast Cure Moderate Wounds, so arguably it's as good as Sorlin's Diddy. Um, but 
I'm not going to really use either of them at this point, other than just as a backup, hey, my wizard needs to heal someone so they don't die. Um, but we're pretty well off at this point. The good wife also counts as a merchant, so you can ask her about it for Volo's quest. And here's Tarmus, the guy we've been trying to save. And he, you know, tries to gross you out, you know, and fails. And so you can also ask him about being a merchant. And um, he has some nice stuff, but we have yet another merchant we can talk to in town, which is Shaden Zen over here. So, and uh, he uh, can tell you some stuff. He has some stuff for sale, including some alchemical silver weapons. I'm not going to bother with them. Uh, just because they're more hassle than they're worth. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore him and head back to Tarmus and do some shopping. And I'll leave a description of what I'm going to buy in the video description. Mostly I'm selling things, but the really important thing that Tarmus sells is adamantine bolts and adamantine arrows, which uh, have added damage and really aren't that expensive given their... Um, given their damage bonus. I'm not going to stock up on them too much now because we're a little, sh you know, we have other things we need to spend money on, but I'm going to be back eventually to buy up a lot of those. And those will be my standard arrows for pretty much the rest of the game uh, once I've spent all the money. So I'm going to go on a little shopping spree and I will s see you in the next video because we're done here.